An emergency session of the Security Council has been held at the UN in New York to discuss the state of the Russian-occupied Zaporizhia nuclear plant, power plant in Ukraine. They heard calls for the immediate creation of a security zone to shield the facility from fighting. Russia is being urged to allow that to go forward. Yeah, President Zelensky last night welcomed uh, the call from the International Atomic Energy Agency to create a security zone around this uh, nuclear facility. And uh, yesterday, uh, during this uh, emergency session of the United Nations Security Council, the UN chief, Antonio Guterres, repeated his call for the creation of a demilitarized zone around this station. Russia has approached North Korea to request ammunition. Um, I'm not able to provide any more detail than that at this point in time, um, but it does demonstrate and is indicative of the situation that Russia finds itself in, in terms of its logistics and sustainment capabilities as it relates to Ukraine. Uh, certainly, uh, as has been said, uh, we, we assess that um, things are not going well on that front for Russia. So the fact that they're reaching out to North Korea uh, is a sign that uh, that they're having some challenges on the sustainment front. Although Communist China has recently been making sustained moves towards us, trying to incite disputes, we will still carry on with our exercises in the spirit of preparing for war without seeking war and reacting to war without causing it, to train up our soldiers in their fighting abilities. We want the Taiwanese people to have confidence in us. Checkpoints are in place with police cordoning off access to parts of the parliamentary precinct. The Solomon Islands Prime Minister plans to change the constitution to delay next year's election and stay in power until 2024. The opposition warns that will trigger political unrest and protests in the capital. The Solomon Islands is due to host the Pacific Games next November. Manasse Sogavare says the island nation can't afford to hold an election in the same year. Some analysts say postponing the vote is considered an attempt to quash democracy. Since Honiara signed a security agreement with Beijing, critics have expressed concern about its growing influence. The deal allows Chinese police and law enforcement teams to be based in the capital to ensure public order. Togo's parliament has extended for six months the state of emergency in the Savannah region in the far north of the country, which has been plagued by incursions by jihadist groups. While jihadist groups operating in the Sahel appear to be gradually moving towards the West African coast, northern Togo has suffered at least five attacks since November 2021. Declared in June by the Togolese president, for Nyasibe, the state of emergency was unanimously extended Tuesday until March 2023 by the National Assembly meeting in Kara, north of Lomé. The 
Syrian military says that the runway in the Aleppo International Airport is out of service as a result of an Israeli airstrike. Alleged Israeli airstrikes this evening targeted both the Aleppo and Deir Azur airports in northern Syria. The military added that the strike included a number of missiles launched from sea west of Latakia, which led to material damage to the Aleppo airport.